Hey, welcome back. I'm Ashley. And if you love saving money and want to learn some frugal living tips, make sure you subscribe below so you can get notified of videos that I post here every single week. Now, one of the ways that I like to help you save money is by reviewing some products that I may already have around my house so that you can see what is worth your money and won't kind of crap out on you. So I wanted to go over my favorite carpet cleaner. I've had this Hoover Power Dash pet carpet cleaner for about two years now. I believe I paid about $70 for it on sale. So not a bad price for a carpet cleaner. This is a compact carpet cleaner, so it's not going to take up so much space. But the downside to that is that it is small. So it's more ideal for maybe cleaning up some pet messes or accidents that your dog or cat may have, some spills or cleaning the area rugs. It's not ideal for large rooms to clean the entire carpet in your room. You can, and I've done it before, but it does take time because the tanks are small. There, You just have to keep refilling it with water and solution, and emptying the dirty water. So it does take longer. You can do it, but it's probably not ideal. But even though this carpet cleaner is compact, it is very powerful. It gets out stains for almost everything that I've tried. I'm going to go around the house today and kind of see what we have that we can clean with it so that you can see just how good it works. But first I'm going to go over the carpet cleaner itself, kind of show you the features, what it looks like, and let's do that now. So this is the Hoover Power Dash Pet Carpet Cleaner. Um, pretty, you know, basic little carpet cleaner. The only thing I did have to assemble when I received it was the handle. But all you do is just slide it in here and then just slide the top in right here where you can see. Um, obviously this is where you push to have the soap come out when you clean the carpet. This is a tank. It slides out pretty easily when you have two hands. But this is it. You can tell it's not really big. You're not going to get a whole lot out of it. Um, but like I said, it's just for small spaces. This is ideal for maybe a small apartment living room. Could do the whole room. Now here's the extension cord. It's a decent length. It's not very long. You're not going to be able to do two rooms without unplugging it. So, you know, it is what it is. And then of course, back here, you have your on off button. And then this is where you push to lean back. And it's not filled with water, hang on. So right here, you just press to release and the dirty tank comes right out and just slides right back in. So, I mean, you know, pretty basic, pretty small, but like I said, it is powerful and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Let's go see if we can find some spots to clean. I found this spot in my bedroom and I think this is where the robot vacuum got caught on something and then the wheels kind of left this little black spot. So we're going to use a carpet cleaner to see if it'll get that out. And then I think I also have another um, area in my daughter's room I'm going to show you real quick that we're going to clean too. Okay so we just moved into a new house and some of the painters dropped some paint in the carpet. Now luckily you can't see it, but you can feel it when you walk over it. It's just really hard and stiff. And it's kind of like right here. You can see it's kind of matted together. Um, let me find another little area. Oh yeah, right here. It's all right here. Um, you can kind of see it's just kind of stiff, matted together right there. So I'm going to see if the carpet cleaner can get some of this out or if I'm just going to have to scrub it by hand, but hopefully the carpet cleaner would do all the work for me. Okay, so we're going to fill up the tank. All you do is just take this top off that was right here, fill it up to the line where it says water, and then we're going to fill it up with our carpet cleaning solution. You know, pretty standard stuff. Um, this is my favorite carpet cleaner to use, especially if you have pets. Um, the Hoover Pet Plus, it smells really good. 
and it really does a great job of getting the carpets clean. So with our dog, Obi, he likes to pee everywhere on the carpet in our old house. Luckily, we have a two-story house now and he's not allowed upstairs, so we don't really have that problem much anymore. But if you do have pets, this is a great one to get. This is the first stain that I got out, that little black area. It was like right here and it's all gone. So I got it up no problem and I just had to go over it like maybe twice and then I went over it again another two or three times just to make sure all the water was sucked up. Like I said, the machine is compact but it, the suction on it is really powerful. Like it's just damp it's not even wet or anything like you normally have with um you know other carpet cleaners where you have to get the fan out and try to get it to dry real quick so mold doesn't set in but it's hardly damp at all and it got the stain out this is in aria's room where the paint was it did an okay job getting the paint out um it got it in certain areas but where it's um really clumped together like right here I'm just gonna have to scrub that out uh, manually I it's gonna take a while to get that out because it's all just bunched together right there but it did an okay job on the paint so it's definitely better for stains and you know pet urine getting all that out but maybe not so much for getting paint out of your carpet but Hopefully you won't have that problem like I do. Then I also wanted to show you after just doing those two sections, um, you can tell the water level is already down here. So like I said, it's just, it's ideal for spot cleaning. Like if you wanna do a big room, if I wanted to do all of her bedroom, it would take probably three or four um, tank fulls. I could do it, but it's just gonna take longer than having a big heavy duty carpet cleaner. This is the water. That's how much dirt and grime I got out of my carpet. And like I said, we've only been living here for two months and I do not allow shoes on the carpet. So it is very powerful, it gets a lot of dirt out of your carpet. And to empty this, all you do is just pull this open and pour it down the sink. All right, so that's it. That's kind of like my overview of the Hoover Power Dash Pet Carpet Cleaner. It's kind of a mouthful, but we've had it for about two years. We used it all the time in our old house because it was a one story and it was carpeted and Obi liked to pee everywhere. So we definitely got our money's worth out of it. Like I said, I only paid $70 for it on sale, which is a great price. Um, you can tell it's compact, but it is powerful and it definitely keeps our carpets clean and fresh. So if you're looking for a smaller carpet cleaner, I highly recommend it. Like I said, if you want to do larger areas, um, the entire house, maybe not a great idea. Um, I did use ours for our entire house when we were getting ready to move. It did take time, but it did it. This is a great option if you just have some smaller messes from the pets. Uh, I used to have one of those just spot cleaning little bot machines and it didn't do nearly as good of a job as this carpet cleaner does. This cleaner is a lot more powerful with a lot more suction. So that's why I would recommend getting this one over one of those little handheld spot cleaning machines. But that's it for this review and make sure to subscribe below for more reviews like this to help you learn which products are worth your money and even more money saving tips. And I'll see you guys next time.